over six arrested in Kampala protests. A very good evening to you, and thank you so much for joining us in this edition of Spectrum, coming to you live on Radio 1 FM 90. We are also broadcasting on our website, which is www.radio1fm90.com. While on that website, you click on the icon with the word Listen Live. Now, this radio station is also live on the different radio listening apps. Tune in, Afro Mobile, your TV channel, Radio Garden, and Stream Africa. We are coming to you live also on DSTV, where our audio channel is 897. My name is Kenneth Lukwaganderson, your host. Two ways to contribute to this discussion. One of the ways is to send us a WhatsApp via a WhatsApp message via the number 0703-090-090. Tell us where you are, who you are. Give us that question or comment, and the guests in studio will be able to respond to you. The other option is actually to call in time allowing. I'll open the phone lines for you to do so. We'll be looking today about the implications of the protests that were held earlier today in Kampala. Now, there was heavy deployment around the city, uh, to thwart um, plans by young people to carry out protests, uh, which uh, was about marching to parliament as a sign of saying no to corruption. Now, as you might have heard in our news, about 46 people were arrested and arraigned in court today and uh, charged with causing a public nuisance. They have been remanded uh, to different prisons. Some of those arrests were actually brutal. If you look at what happened at a rural park, there was a female protester who was dragged on the floor and that has caused an uproar among human rights defenders. In parliament, a blockage of protesters was condemned um, and the deputy speaker said that the house is ready to receive petitions in an orderly manner. So the, those that want to present petitions to parliament should uh, make arrangements with the office of the speaker and then the date and time will be agreed upon when they can march to parliament and present uh, the petition. Now, the protesters, the protesters have seven demands. The resignation of Anita Among as Speaker of Parliament, resignation of four commissioners of Parliament, reduction in the number of parliamentarians, uh, any member of Parliament involved in any corruption scandal uh, resigning while investigations continue, conducting an inspection of the assets and lifestyle of the members of Parliament and announcing it, making it public, deducting uh, the salaries and allowances of all MPs up to 3 million Ugandan shillings, allowing Ugandans to continue to exercise their constitutional right to peaceful assembly without hindrance. Now, human rights defenders and um, lawyers have indicated that uh, this protest raises uh, both human rights and governance matters that need to be contended with, and from what we have heard, there is a likelihood there will be another round of protests. So to discuss this matter further, I have two guests today on this show. Let me introduce Dr. Livingstone Sewanyana, Executive Director and Founder at the Foundation for, for the Citizens. And that those who often want to, set, to demonstrate or protest are actually uh, sowing seeds of discontent, but also uh, of violence. And as such, they must be contained. Now, of course, many people will rush to condemn the police for its uh, high-handedness. But we all know that under Article 212 of the Constitution, their role is to maintain law and order. So increasingly, what they are now doing and what states are doing elsewhere, mm. I saw a similar experience in Georgia. Uh, during my uh, country visit to Georgia, mm. they are using a preventive approach. Mm. Uh, when President Museveni came on air just a few days ago and warned potential protest, uh, protesters that they will see fire, that actually is a preventive approach. So what, they, what he's trying to sh tell you is that should you dare you definitely will face the consequences. Now, that is largely driven by fear. Actually, denying people the right to protest or demonstrate peacefully, despite uh, the constitutional provision, Article 29, is largely dictated by fear. States fear mm. any situation that could create havoc, which could create disorder, which could create 
a situation they cannot actually handle. Mm. Because there are governments that have been overthrown through protests. You remember uh, in, in Eastern Europe, mm. there were many governments that fell because of protests. So we, we saw protests here in Egypt, the Arab Spring. Exactly, very so, familiar. We saw it in, in Sudan. Yes, protests mm. tend to be a very fertile ground for mobilizing masses, uh, uh, which can easily throw out uh, governments. Now, of course, what is the answer? The mm. answer lies in striking a delicate balance between guaranteeing freedom uh, for people to express themselves peacefully and ensuring law and order. Now, that can only happen if you are responding appropriately to the demands of the population. Mm. Now, the challenge we have is that increasingly citizens are becoming uh, very discontented with their leadership. Uh, when uh, allegations of corruption become rife, when poverty uh, increases, when people feel a sense of hopelessness, the only answer they have towards the state is to protest and to demonstrate, as you saw in the uh, neighboring Republic of Kenya. Now, of course, the challenge then for the state is how do I ensure order, how do I ensure harmony under such circumstances? Mm. Now, in some regimes which normally uh, find solace, I use the word solace, in using force, they resort to forceful means. In other countries, which prefer and often are constitutional in nature, they prefer uh, peaceful means like dialogue. They would definitely contain that by making promises, making promises to deliver on services, of course to contain malpractices. But states which are largely driven and grounded in the use of force they use force as a means of containing that. Mm. So that's why you find their comparative approaches and experiences in different countries. Whereas, for example, in one country, you could see mass protests leading to uh, you know, change in, in government behavior. In others, they would not allow any similar experience. They would prefer to contain it and avert it as soon as, as early as they can. All right. Let's look at those two situations. Countries where they will use force, um, countries where institutions uh, will look away and the protesters given the right to actually protest. What, what, what defines those two scenarios, uh, Dr. Sawanya? The scenarios are largely driven by uh, the nature of governance that the country has. Okay. If a country, for example, derives its power from genuine elections, constitutional order, and actually, uh, it, would be, uh, it would be suicidal for them to deny citizens to protest. Such countries would allow their citizens and would try as much as possible to provide the necessary protection for those who want to express themselves in such a manner. Mm. But countries which have very limited uh, respect, sometimes for human rights, for rule of law, democracy, those will definitely adopt a militaristic approach. And as such, you don't expect any favor of any kind. And as such, when you go into such an undertaking, you, you must have signed your, your death sentence. All right. Now, let's go back and, and look at uh, this right freedom to protest or same one, things like that. There's been an argument going on and, of course, discussion since uh, the protesters made their plans known to, to the police. They approached the police. They had a meeting. Uh, they told the police what they want to do. They explained where they were to assemble, the number of people likely to be there. But the police responded and said, look, we suspect there are some people who intend to use uh, your activity to actually cause mayhem. And they even said, we are not so sure about how many people are likely to attend because you've been calling upon all Ugandans who are against corruption to go and attend. President Yoweri Museven also weighed in and said there are other peaceful ways to actually do it. If you want to protest, choose a day when people are not busy in Kampala. Go to um, Nakalema, talk to her, she will help you to arrange. And we are also fighting corruption. Why don't you allow us to be part of your protest? Um, in all those uh, discussions, where does that leave uh, the freedom that is provided for in the Constitution but also bearing in mind that even, as, even if you, in, 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 at the time you're enjoying your rights or freedoms, 
you must also respect the, the freedoms and rights of others. The truth is, no state would, would want, under any circumstances, to allow any form of protest to occur because of the consequences of such an undertaking. For example, mobilizing masses, which is likely, you know, to create uh, a sense of uh, disobedience and ultimately, as I said earlier, can actually lead to the overthrow of a government. And of course, the police, their role is to maintain law and order and to ensure that the state is, is protected. So, yes, they would definitely have to make those arguments. Mm. We should also bear in mind that the freedom to protest and to demonstrate peacefully is not absolute. Okay. It's not an absolute right. Mm. It is to be enjoyed at the exigencies of the state. Now, and that is where the challenge lies. It's not one of those absolute rights. Like, for example, freedom from torture, slavery, or genocide, and so on. So it's a right that must, uh, must be enjoyed within certain Eh? Limitation. limitations. Mm. And the constitution is very clear, even international law is very clear, mm. that it can only be enjoyed as long as it's not uh, it, it does not uh, uh, it's, it doesn't injure your uh, order, is not inconsistent with uh, uh, right public order, mm. pub, uh, public interest, uh, public morality and the like. So it is, it is a right you can only enjoy once you have the necessary environment. Now, the problem arises with uh, the legal interpretation of that. Mm. Uh, if you recall, in several uh, in several judgments or rulings delivered by the Constitutional Court, they have always argued that that right you are entitled to that right, and the role that the police has to, to play only is to give you protection. So they have no right to. To deny you, to, to deny you. you the right. Mm. Now, denying you the right now becomes a, a very interesting one in the sense that the police would argue that according to our assessment, bearing in mind, for example, the experience in the neighboring republic. And the police act. <laughs> and uh, so we definitely cannot give you that protection. We have no capacity to provide you with that protection because if, if for example, you mobilize millions and millions of people, we shall definitely be overpowered and it will not be possible to provide you. So they preempt uh, such an action. That's why I said right from the beginning that states increasingly prefer to use a preventive approach, telling you, look, you can dialogue, you can, uh, for example, uh, uh, seek permission, uh, you can have an alternative venue, you can, you can find, uh, you know, uh, solutions elsewhere. You don't need to mobilize people uh, to go on the street because they will become, as, you, as I have noted here, a public nuisance. But what is public nuisance? Public nuisance here, they are simply saying you, you are likely to injure the rights of other people. Mm. So it, it becomes very fluid. Actually, they have, they have two counts. Two <laughs> counts of yes. charged with the two counts, common nuisance and being idle and disorderly. Exactly. But idle and disorderly was, is no longer... It, it, it's that, that, that's it's, what ve it's yes. a very colonial relic. Mm. And it's no longer actually one of uh, the legal provisions. Holding uh, charges. And, and unfortunately, that was actually repealed, uh, being uh, idle and disorderly. Because you cannot... How do you determine who is idle and disorderly? I could be enjoying my, my leisure and... Um, in such a place. But the most important point uh, outside that argument is that increasingly citizens are becoming discontented with the way states uh, govern. Mm. They, are, they are so disillusioned to the extent that they will do anything under their power to cause the necessary change that they want. Mm. And states, on the other hand, are increasingly fearful that if, state, if individuals exercise that power, they are likely to throw them out of power. Mm. So, so it, is, it, it becomes a contestation. And how you manage that contestation now becomes an issue of experience and an issue of strategy and tactic. All right. Now, let's look at the, the, the events today uh, as they happened. Uh, first of all, I, wa I want to hear from you. Do you think the protesters were justified uh, to plan and conduct this activity? Two... Do you think the police, uh, the government generally, was justified 
uh, given the manner in which they responded to the protesters. As I said earlier, based on the experience of the neighboring republic and what has happened elsewhere, mm. and considering uh, the fear that is apparent eh, within the state, and are mindful of the, 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 the state of service delivery that we are enjoying in this country, and of course the, the, the fact that uh, corruption has become endemic and people really feel eh, largely aggrieved by the apparent corruption that is going on within the, uh, the different sectors of government. Definitely whoever stands up and, and, and opposes this is justified. And, and, and certainly one way of expressing discontent would be to protest. Mm. So that's what I'm saying, that yes, they have the right. The challenge, however, is that on the other hand, the state, mindful of the consequences of such an action, would prefer that that does not take place. Actually, the state is, is aware mm. that you have that freedom. It is aware that it's provided for. It is aware that you need to enjoy it. But increasingly, they are also fearful of you, what is likely to happen. So the question then is, how do you strike that delicate balance mm. between enjoying the freedom people are entitled to and ensuring that there is orders and, and, and safety for the for the, for the rest. So it is that tension mm. that increasingly becomes contentious and we must deal with. And states must prepare themselves mm. because today you can avert it. What about tomorrow? Are you likely to avert it tomorrow? So you ensure that those acts which are annoying the populace as much as possible increasingly become contained. All right. My second guest is here in studio, retired Major uh, James William Kinowe. He's a former Ugandan ambassador to Khartoum, uh, to DRC, but also he was a member of parliament representing Katikam North uh, in uh, 1996 to 2006. He comes from the ruling National Resistance Movement Party. Um, Honorable Chinobe, you had a discussion. We had a discussion here uh, at the time when the protests in Kenya were happening, and we actually uh, looked at the Ugandan scenario. The youth were so many and complaining, and they were planning to carry out these protests. Finally, uh, they did happen today. Some protests did take place. Um, about 46 people were arrested. They have been charged with um, causing nuisance, but also idle and disorderly, and they have been remanded to Luzira prison. Your quick response to wh what you saw today. Uh, first of all, I want to greet uh, <laughs> my brother, mm. uh, We've shared many, many panels in, in, in the previous past when I was still active here. Mm. And I have a lot of respect for him in that long history of the fight for, for activism. Human rights, mm. activism. And uh, listening to Mr. Sewanyana, you see a realist and uh, an experienced activist. Mm. And uh, when I listened to him, uh, I recall the clip I saw. I listened to today when they were grilling the director of CIA mm. over whether the guns, uh, they were talking about the guns, whether it made their work much easier or more difficult. And she was saying, for us, the nature of our work always has always been like that. Then the, the MP was saying, no, answer my question, director. I said, no, it was not only this case. But uh, due to the nature of what we do as operatives of CIA, it is always complicated. Mm. So being in government, and doing what uh, Mr. Swanya is actually uh, putting across is always very, very complicated. And, uh, and, and I think that's why mm. most people, when they are still in opposition and they're not in government, they do things very differently. But the moment they get on hands-on practice within the, the, the whims of running the state and doing what is supposed to be done, mm. they get faced with that realistic situation, mm. which you, you must find a, a balance with. Mm. But let me start by saluting our... Uh, has, our that happened, has that happened to you? Has it, it has happened, happened to, to many of us. Has it happened to uh, your government? It has me, ha many times to all of us. And, and you know, an image is, is painted mm. by many people that this government does not respect human rights, they don't understand it, mm. they want it that way. But I'll tell you, these are questions that always happen and they need answers which remain unanswered during the preparatory stages. He has been part of many discussions. First of all, 
it's not about the law and rights. It's about the conduct mm. of most of the people when they come now to the enjoyment of the actual rights that we're talking about. Mindsets are very complicated. We must, we can take a cue of what happened in Kenya. When they, you know, I know, I know it's, it's a very thin line between a demonstration and a riot. Mm. Maybe you help us to understand. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you what. The, but when I'll tell you what, in Kenya, I'll tell you what the organizers here have been saying. The moment the nobody, police intervenes, no, it becomes a riot. Nobody will tell you that we're organizing a riot. Mm. They always tell you we're organizing a peaceful demonstration. We've seen clips of someone who was distributing stones to people prepared to go and participate in the, the demonstration. Mm. Until he gave a stone to a, story, a, story, a policeman who had been planted into the investigative process and they, when they arrest, tried to arrest him. So they always come out with very different o objectives. Mm. Uh, Mr. Swanyan has mentioned genuine issues which should be regulated and resolved through formal and legitimate structures. When you look at our political structure, apart from the political question, mm. which, is always have, which has always had issues with the who wins, who steals votes, who does what, and so on. Mm. The majority of all the situations that we're talking about have got formal structures in which they should be addressed. We, when you, you just look even at the seven reasons which our friends are already talking about, mm. these are, as lawyers, they will tell you there are very, very formal ways of how those matters would have been responded to. Mm. The Speaker of Parliament himself he said, if there are people with organized petitions, just do not fire us. Because the only forum that can listen to your grievances more effectively and in a better manner is a, a petition through Parliament where you have your representatives. Good enough, the structure of our representatives in, in Uganda is much diverse than many other countries in the world. Mm. Because you have the women there who are mothers to all these kids and our wives. You have uh, the Gen Zs represented almost uh, in their structures, but also in uh, contesting in other constituencies. Mm. You have the elders like us who have been around, who are the fathers to all these people. So you have a mm. wide and broad uh, representation. There's, if a, you are to there's seek. a feeling by the young people that there's collusion in parliament. When it comes to issues of spending taxpayers' money, the young people are actually saying parliament does not want to be questioned. Feelings and emotions, you cannot legislate around them. You, 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 are, are those mere feelings? Or? They sometimes not mere feelings because we are, that's why we are talking about conduct. Mm. Even the feeling by the security people that these people genuinely may not be coming in to present a petition or present a case, but maybe drive an agenda. For example, this agenda of a demonstration. You people in the media have also played a role in pushing our young people on the street because they say, hey, your friends have done this, you should be doing. So they found like they were being left behind. And they had to organize uh, uh, some. No, for us, we, for us, we have just been putting facts no, 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 on the table. No, 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 no. Facts on the table. No, 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 no. The reporting facts, things the way they happen. Maybe you, but uh, we've listened to many media houses. And today, maybe these gentlemen of the rights will also help us now. Mm. There are so many unstructured fora, media outlets, mm. that uh, are actually now taking away the domain of you, <laughs> regulated industry, but they, they, they influence the population. When you talk about TikTok and those social media platforms, today they actually control people's mindset more by a bigger percentage than the traditional media outlets that we've mm. always had. Mm. So when you're operating a country in such a situation, it should have been the people in the structures that should be the incoming governments so that they have realistic discussions and objective engagements that like what we're talking about. All right, Spectrum on Radio 1 FM 90, we need to go for a break now. When we return, we'll run through the seven demands that have been put across by the young people. Can they be acted upon uh, to avoid a next round of protests like uh, uh, Dr. Livingstone Sewanyana has suggested? Because Dr. Livingstone Sewanyana says the best way to actually counter uh, uh, these kind of actions is to be proactive and to respond to the outcry of the people through dialogue and actually effecting uh, some of the things they are demanding for. Station Radio 1 FM 90 will continue after Kampala today. I'm speaking to Dr. Livingstone Sewanyan, Executive Director at the Foundation for Human Rights Initiative. Not so long ago, he was the independent UN expert on the promotion of a democratic and equitable international order. Also in studio, retired Major James William Chinobe, former Ugandan ambassador to Khartoum, Sudan, but also he did serve this country as ambassador in the DRC. 
uh, before that he was also a member of parliament and minister in charge of uh, youth uh, affairs. Well, gentlemen, let's look at some of the key demands that uh, the protesters are putting across. At the start, we thought it was all around uh, corruption, but they have a number of issues. Resignation of Anita Mong as Speaker of Parliament because of the allegations of corruption against her. Resignation of four commissioners of Parliament, we know that is also about the 1.7 uh, billion shillings. Reduction of members of Parliament, they believe the members of Parliament are so many. Uh, any member of Parliament involved in a corruption scandal should resign while investigations continue. Conducting inspection of assets and lifestyle audit of all members of Parliament and announcing it, making it public. Deducting salaries of members of Parliament uh, from up to 3 million Ugandan shillings allowing Ugandans to continue to exercise their constitutional right to peaceful assembly without uh, hindrances. Well, uh, Dr. Sawanyana, uh, this seemed to go on for a long time. Okay. For example, reduction of members of parliament. Mm. That is something many people have always had concerns with. And even surveys that have been done before, you recall, during the uh, SEDU times, uh, those are, we did surveys and they showed that majority of Ugandans wanted a small parliament mm. to reduce the numbers of uh, members of parliament. I think that, to a large extent, is an issue. Mm. We can't sweep it under the carpet. Secondly, when it comes to uh, the conduct of members of parliament, I think that is when we have a serious challenge. For example, Honorable, my brother, Chinove, says, you know, parliament is a legitimate forum where you express your discontent. And actually, if you look at Article 79 of the Constitution, Parliament has been empowered with very important functions. One of them is to promote democratic governance. They are, you know, they are a center of um, resort for everyone who has a grievance. Mm. Now, the unfortunate thing is that increasingly it is being seen in bad light that there are acts of corruption taking place within parliament. That, I think, is... Uh, I don't even know how to express that. I think it was unheard of... Uh, honorable, uh, was unheard of in our previous parliaments since, since 1996 elections. Talking about, you know, corruption in parliament, that was unheard of. So if corruption is an issue in parliament, definitely all Ugandans, including the leadership, must do whatever it takes to make sure that that is rooted out. Now, other, other demands like enjoying their freedom of expression and association and assembly, we have discussed that, mm. the tension and the contestation around that. And of course, even courts have, you know, reined in and said, look, Ugandans are entitled to their right to express themselves, to associate and to, ex uh, and to assemble. That the police overall has a role to play in ensuring that they provide the necessary environment for that to happen. Now, of course, the challenge lies in the reality. And the reality is they are increasing, and I have stated it over and over, they are increasing fears by states that sometimes these peaceful matches... Fears? Eh? Mm, legitimate fears? Yes. Can or be, just fear? <laughs> become rioters <laughs> and it can even lead it to overthrow of governments. And that is, that is something uh, very serious. Because when, once... Uh, once it starts, sometimes you don't, even you, the convener, may not even have control over what happens. So the point is, yes, they are legitimate, mm. but on the other hand, are there alternative arrangements, uh, alternative approaches? Mm. Maybe you have to explore that. But the bottom line is, yes, those demands to a large extent, I think, are, are genuine. Mm. They need to be dealt with in a decisive manner in a manner that brings us answers. We need the answers. Because even in the neighboring republic, they have not got answers up to now. I had uh, President Ruto saying enough is are being made in every corner of this country. It is high time that the leadership actually addresses this. Because if it doesn't, then of course, we are being, uh, we are, we may be forced into despair, and it's not the best thing for any country. All right, let's hear from you, Honorable Chinobe. Uh, well, first of all, uh, allow me to thank uh, all the apparatus that was employed, employed today the security, uh, the, the DPP's office, and all the other people. 
that at the end of the day, we, we don't count bodies like the last time we had a very unfortunate incident in town here. Mm. Uh, for the first time on record, less the, the, the law talks of how many hours? So than even 24 hours, hours. Yeah. but in less than you, even you 24 just, hours. I don't mm. have facts, but you, you, I, I, I want to not have that the facts, media has facts. I, 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 I want to believe that the media has facts. Yeah, they, they did charge them. Over 40 people. Yeah, they did charge them. Over 40 people. 46. Over 46. We were arrested, arraigned before courts, and actually. We were arrested, arraigned before courts, and actually sent on remand. But the charges. Sent on remand. Come on, the charges. For me, that's a good thing. I do at least order the judge to go on to jail. How do you charge people with I don't disorder which you know, was knocked off well, from we are, we are not in the you know what isn't it just fine that you are arrested for nothing what I'm trying to say I want to commend and with the very high profile media with the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there and that has been the very high profile media that has been put out there
And today the trend of events which I'm very happy about is that at least the president's voice is coming out against it. Is coming and the population is also responding. And the population is also responding. Gives but how we do it? And that's why we say we are now saying the issue is that it's not about the issue. 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 It's not about
uh, advocating uh, for, uh, for, for the person who has been arrested. You have the DPP and his team there. So it's not a very simple thing to fight corruption. Mm. Uh, and you've seen people even getting shot and arrested and all those things. So when you, we talk about fighting corruption, mm. it's a, it needs a combined force. That's why today I'm very happy that the pre- voice of the president is coming out strongly. The population is also coming out, but not for sure bees. Let us have an organization. For example, I would be very happy that uh, if now in, in the next round of elections, every political party picks out that issue of fighting corruption and elaborate means of how they are going to do about it, especially the lifestyle audit, is picked as a, a major component in every party's manifesto. I would understand that now the voters are coming on board. The voters will not accept Kikidogo to vote for whoever is now bringing in the money after stealing it from the public coffers. But as we speak today, the public doesn't mind where you get the money from as long as you come and give them kit kidogo. All right. Most people who are able to represent this country very effectively and don't have the money can no longer go to politics. Now, with this, that political, politicized, I mean, monetized aura, you cannot expect the, the big fight we are talking about. All right. You are going to end up with the corrupt people buying their way in, and All they are right. the ones where you are going to send the petitions to the parliament. All right, we have comments coming in. One from this listener. The justice team in Uganda are sidelining with the corrupt officials. They would set those youth free on arrival in court uh, because of the charges that have been leveled against them. Amo Martin from Bale, the demands from the demonstrators is very unrealistic. For example, if most MPs have corrupt minds, where shall we get a replacement for uh, right Honorable Among. I propose that Parliament reinstates the constitutional provision to recall MPs by the electorates. Then we have another comment. Can you please ask the former Honorable, uh, no, he's actually Honorable, once Honorable, always Honorable, Major Chinube, MP. whether his government is ready and willing to hand over power to the opposition and is, as he's suggesting. Does his government really give a level ground for discussion with the opposition as he's stating it now? That is Dennis who is listening uh, to us from all the way in Mozambique. Thank you very much, Dennis, for tuning in. Then we have another comment from Henry. With the police brutality I have seen, I'm now speaking a different language. Corruption is harmless. Uh, it helps you get service delivery faster. Well, this Henry thinks there has been brutality by the police. Protest against corruption. I'm encouraged by Dr. Sawanyana's presentation. And key from him is that as long as the government doesn't address the concerned demands by the youth, it will always return. Brother Kenneth, finally it has happened and finally the NRM government has confirmed to us that no commitment the government whatsoever has to fight corruption. In a nutshell, the NRM government and this extension, the police is clearly telling us that don't disrupt people who are eating. This is very clear confirmation that corruption forms the entire architecture of the NRM government and therefore its skeleton, nerves, muscles and blood system of the NRM and government and therefore the NRM cannot fight itself. Another comment from Arico. Police are the ones encouraging corruption because instead of arresting the corrupt, they are again uh, going after the ones who are fighting corruption. They even throw them on pickups like uh, they were throwing their own women who gave them children some years back. Then we have another comment. Good evening. Um, Enjoy job live from Bwai. Say concerning governance, we shall never talk of constitutional governance. Today, when Honorable Sechukubo made a statement that we who are in power will become opposition uh, due to change of power, where uh, we say we who are in power might become opposition, where shall we be? Uh, and then he says, I break down for the first time due to political statements like that. Indeed, what the NRM has done will never allow them to be uh, to be good leaders in Uganda. Maybe that's why they are buying land in other countries to prepare themselves for exile, for God and my country. That's the comment there. Uh, from Ejo Job, who is listening to us uh, live from uh, Bwaise. Well, gentlemen, let's sum up this discussion and I'll come to you, um, Honorable uh, Chino, oh, uh, Dr. Livingstone Sewanyana. We have another comment here coming in from Crispin Kaheru, Commissioner of the Uganda Human Rights Commission. He said, The right to peaceful and lawfully protest is enshrined in Article 29 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. That's a comment there uh, from uh, uh, Crispin Kaheru. And then we have another one, a protest concept should be generic, not transplanted. Circumstances are different for different societies and therefore approaches should differ. Simply because it worked for one community does not mean it will work for another. Back to the drawing board, march to parliament as the hashtag. That's a comment from Aboki Fred. Dr. Sawanyan. Yeah, of 
purpose, we are talking about the right protest, as Crispin has rightly put it, it mm. is provided for. But of course, there is always a disconnect between theory and practice. You know, theory is something else, and practice is another. Mm. Sometimes uh, contexts differ, and the enjoyment of some of these rights then become subject to the context. Overall, I think the most important issue we need to raise here is that there is need to address the current concerns and demands of Ugandans. I have stated over and over this matter that Ugandans deserve better. They want better roads. They they want drugs in hospitals. They want to be treated fairly. Mm. They deserve, all of us deserve eh? Mm. a piece of the cake. So that's the, the, the whole idea. And that those who are in leadership must be exemplary. You can't be a member of parliament and be accused of corruption because you are supposed to be in the forefront of fighting corruption. So the fact that we have allegations of corruption virtually of every sector in society because mm. today it may be parliament, the next day it is local government, the other day it is police. It, so virtually the whole um, uh, fabric has broken down and we need to work hard to restore this fabric because what what we, we seem to be lacking largely at every level is that value that indeed, as a citizen, I'm entitled to a service, not necessarily because I have to pay. No, mm. I am entitled to a service. And you are, if you're in a position of providing a service, you mm. offer that by virtue of that position. All right. So why would you want to demand, uh, you know, uh, what you call chitu dog? Why would you want to demand that? I, And that is what I think Honorable Azivin has uh, pointed to, that increasingly people who have ideas, good ideas, would provide good leaders, are being pushed out because they don't have the funds to contest. They can no longer contest because for you to contest, it means millions and millions, if eh? If (laughs) if not billions now, you know. The other day I was being told that in the 26, 21 election, some mm. people spent billion, three billion, mm. 300 million. Mm. Sincerely, where do you get such money unless you engage in corrupt practices? All right, we'll give you uh, the, the final say as we you know, prepare uh, to get out of Of course, I can't uh, agree with him less. Mm. Definitely, there's that mindset to which tends to create an impression that maybe those in government will never leave it. I will tell you. The opposition should work as the government in waiting because definitely we've seen situations where people come from the opposition and go into government. Mm. Likewise, those in government should also create a situation that if we are to be on the other side, what we call fair, it should be fair to all of us. All right. The, the bottom line is, how do we conduct ourselves? For example, people and the population demanding that their leaders should be exemplary is a very legitimate and genuine mm. and a genuine demand by the population. Mm. But we also de- there is there are also citizens' responsibilities. For me, the biggest demonstration I would want to see from the voters is that we are going into elections. We, when we are in elections, they used to have some phrases mm. like eat, wisely, eat widely and vote wisely. wisely. All right. I would want to see a very big demonstration by the voters okay. eating all the money of the corrupt people, but mm. don't vote for them. All right. Vote for the legitimate and correct people. That would be the starting point of understanding that the population now is on board with all the leadership in the fight against corruption. All right. And that way, we shall have a, a better Uganda. I must thank you, gentlemen, for actually making time to come here to discuss with uh, with me and also to share with the listeners. I must thank you, the listeners, for tuning in but also contributing to this uh, discussion. Up next, we have the news in English. And for me and uh, guests in studio, it's a good night.